Hi, my name's Paul and I'm shitting myself. No, starting again. Hi, my name's Paul and I never start videos that enthusiastically. I'm putting on a bit of a show here because I'm on an intimidating channel. Dan has a large audience and they don't know me and they're definitely going to judge my shit haircut. English, British, all of that lark. I'm here to tell you some stuff like misconceptions and all that and stereotypes and how they're bollocks. They are bollocks. I compiled a bit of a list on the old phone because I can't remember anything for shit. That's not one of the stereotypes, that's just me. Number one, everyone in Britain knows the royal family. No, we definitely don't. I don't ca care for the royal family, really. I mean, they're just people, aren't they, who are born into a rich castle and who is the queen, really? Who is she? Who are you, love? I don't, she's on my money and stamps and coins and still 10 out of 10 would bang. Number two, it rains every day in Britain. No, it doesn't. It rains about as much as it does in New Zealand. I've heard that the weather is very similar to Britain as it is in New Zealand. Just sort of, you get rain when it's rainy and sun when it's sunny. It doesn't rain all the time. It's a bit shitty sometimes, a bit cloudy, a bit miserable, especially this time of year because it's only just begun spring, isn't it? It's not March and it's like, bloody hell, we're already in March. Number three, there are only two accents in Britain. No. No, 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 no. Every single stereotype of British accents I hear are two accents. One is, oh, hello, would you like a cup of tea and a scare, my good chap? Yes, I love your bowler hat today and your moustache and your cane. It was very spiffing, yes. And the other one is, all right, governor, we're going to go up the apples and pears and do some fucking, no. No, it's not. We don't sound like that. Who the hell says, all right, governor? I don't think I know anyone who says that. Let me just clear something up immediately. This is Britain. It's made up of a lot of countries. Scotland, England, Wales, Northern Ireland, and then the Republic of Ireland isn't part of the UK, but it's still part of Europe. And the whole of this is part of Europe. Let me just make that clear. I feel like the weatherman. However, people who aren't British, from my experience, just see it as bang, England. That whole thing there, it's not. It really isn't. There's a Scottish accent, Welsh, Irish, English. Actually, there's tons of English accents, right? Not just Cockney and Posh and Northern and down right the southwest and they sound like Steve Merchant. So generalizing a British accent, we know what you mean. You mean the posh English accent. It's so wrong. It, at least narrow it down so you say English. I'm really going off on one, but this just niggles my testicles to no end. Number four, pubs in Britain only serve warm beer. A pub in America might be called a tavern or a bar. It's just some place where you go get beer. We don't all have handled mugs like in the Simpsons. We really don't. We have pint glasses. Not only is the idea that we serve warm beer not true, but I'm pretty sure that if I tried serving someone where I work warm beer, they would punch me square in the nose. No one likes a warm beer wherever you are, all right? That's why we put them in fridges. Number five, all Brits have bad teeth. I'm not in a position to defend this because, I mean, my teeth aren't bad. They're just not straight. I look after them, but they're oh, starting to lose credibility here. My teeth are okay. Austin Powers' teeth are, are, are bad, but then again, that was a film. Okay, that was a film. Some people think, for example, that teeth in America are better than English teeth because they have to pay for their healthcare. We pretty much have to pay for our healthcare. I mean, I pay national insurance. I don't, I still have to pay when I go to the dentist. What's that about? I feel like it's a scam. Give me my effing money. Six, British people drink tea all day. In my case, that's true, because I don't like coffee. I really like a good cup of tea. I really I really do. I love tea. I love tea, me. So I guess that's kind of true, but then again, people drink tea all the time in China. So, are they British? No, they're Chinese. Wisdom. Seven. Brits love to queue. No, we don't. We hate queues. Queues are the worst thing since... Hell, I just want to get straight to wherever the hell I'm trying to go. Queuing is shit. Whoever said that Britain's like queuing? What me What were they on? Meth. Jesus. I don't think I've ever heard someone not whinge about being in a queue since I've lived my entire life in England. Eight. Only the British understand British humour. I can't, I can't verify that from, because I am British or English or however you want to narrow it down. My viewpoint is... I understand it. Do you? I'll never know because I don't know what goes on inside your head. What is British humour? Awkwardness, maybe. The whole office theme, probably. I find it funny. Is that really all we've got? Oh, British humour is the best because we're awkward. That's not really something to be proud of, to be honest. Number nine. All British are posh or pompous. <coughs> 
No. No, we're not. A lot of us are rude, miserable bastards. Have you ever met someone from Scotland? From my experience, they were quite nice, but don't get on the wrong side of them when they're pissed off. They'll take your head off your shoulders. Posh people are posh. Pompous people are pompous. And the ones who aren't, aren't. It's really that simple. And the last one, number 10, food from Britain is terrible. Yeah. Yes, it is. I can't argue that. It's a food from England shit. I heard that one of the national British dishes is now curry, which came from India. I mean, that just shows how nothing is original in England anymore. I love a good curry, me. I'm not complaining. I think it's bloody brilliant compared to the shit that we come out with. Fish and chips, really. Is that the iconic food for England? It's, it's laziness at its height. Fish and chips. What else is there? Bangers and mash? That's just sausage and mash. Two things. Really? Where's the art? You've got me there. In fact, no, you haven't got me. I agree. Food sucks in England. So that was 10 misconceptions of British people. Um, I hope you learned something today or did, didn't. I learned nothing. I just, I mean, I didn't because I already knew this stuff because I'm from fucking Britain. Anyway, once again, my name's Paul. My YouTube channel's Paul's Journal. I make vlogs like this on my channel. I also got a couple of series going. I've got one called Life Scouts, where I try to collect badges by doing tasks in each video. It's really quite fun. It gives some variety to my channel. And I have another series called Storytime, where I talk about stories that have happened in my life and I can't animate for shit. So what I do is I draw pictures to go along with it. Thank you to Daniel for letting me be on your channel and show people what I can do on the internet. It's just the same as what everyone else does, really, isn't it? Talking shit into a camera.